A cheering crowd welcomes Bob Knight into Assembly Hall. It's a history-making day at Indiana University for the first time after he was fired nearly 20 years ago. Legendary coach Bob Knight makes a triumphant return to Assembly Hall. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Nicole Griffin. It was the day IU basketball fans waited nearly 20 years for. Legendary coach Bob Knight returned to Assembly Hall. Alongside more than a quarter century of former players, it was a moment to remember. Sports director Dave First has our coverage from Bloomington. The line of students wrapped around Assembly Hall. Once inside, a buzz this place hasn't seen in a long, long time. Word that Bob Knight was here. His longtime rival just finding out. What do you make of this, Gene? Oh, that's special. I, I, hope, I hope he's here today, but he's here. Yeah, oh, he's is he? Here. Good. Yeah, good, good, good. In other words, it's Katie and Knight in the same building for another IU Purdue game. For this crowd, what does it mean to have Coach back, you think? Well, it's special for him. He deserves it. And they were always hard on us, but we were hard on him when he came to Mackey, so it was even. It's appropriate that he comes back for a Purdue game, I think. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. So it's, it's neat. At halftime, the 20-year wait is over. Preceded by members of the Big Ten champion 1980 team and others from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And escorted by his son, Pat, Quinn Buckner, Steve Green, and Scott May. 20 years in the making. His only words. Play defense. IU was down nine at the half. Among those who finally got him to come, Randy Whitman. Randy was very instrumental in that, actually led the charge. All of us tried to pitch in and to do it. And to get him here to see what it's like to see the reaction from the people who love and appreciate not only Indiana basketball, but Coach Bob Knight. We thought that was really important given just life. Just get him in, let him enjoy it. And we really think he did. Did you Randy, see him get fired up? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. when he caught me off guard. Randy, how much did you guys need this? How much do you think Bob needed I, I, I think the state of Indiana needed yeah. it, to be honest with you. I mean, he, you he is Indiana basketball. And so I think this is, as Quinn just said, I don't know if there's going to be a bigger day. You know, hopefully we'll win a couple more national championships to put up there. But to have our coach come back to Indiana and let these fans of the state of Indiana show their appreciation as well as he showed them his appreciation for them. For the rest of the former players, quite simply, not a dry eye in this house. So what do you say after something like that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, you know, I stand out there crying, watching other guys, watching Isaiah cry. You're like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm as big a fan as anyone is. So it's just, it's just cool. The game continues. The Hoosiers defense allowing Purdue to shoot 50% from behind the arc as the Boilers win their sixth in a row in this series, 74-62. And still would turn out to be a big day for everyone in Bloomington. The inclusion uh, of Coach Knight, uh, you know, meant a lot to those guys. And uh, for us to be able to host host them and have Coach Knight uh, officially come through uh, the doors uh, was a big thing. Anytime you have go great coaches, they make you better as a coach. And so we learned a lot, obviously, as fans. And, as, and I learned a lot as a player and a coach, you know, from Coach Katie, being around him, and Coach Knight, you know, being at clinics and things like that. So... Um, you know, we're lucky. I think we're lucky in the state of Indiana to have those two guys. So call it a day for night. Hard to believe. It's been 20 years since his firing. This, though, perhaps bringing a little closure. Regardless, it brought Assembly Hall to its feet once again. In Bloomington, day first, RTV Six Points.